Shalom, Yasha'Allah. It's Brother Mapathak. That'd be key, but in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. And this video is going to be a quick video, just dealing with the topic of um, drinking more water, you know, and um, replacing water with uh, all the, the sugary Kool Aid and uh, all these sugary drinks you, you may drink, you know. You may drink a lot of these uh, processed drinks that's just basically. Um, damn water and sugar, man, you know, water, sugar and, and some flavor, right? You have to, uh, hey, you should stop drinking these things, man. Right. And especially soda, right. Especially pop, you know, and drink, you should be drinking more water than anything, you know? So I just wanted to dive into this. I was compelled through the spirit, um, just to kind of go into it. Um, uh, cause I was watching the video with the elders pretty much touching on how you have a lot of. A lot of specifically so-called black women who just they get thirsty and they just go chugging down Coca-Cola and Pepsi. And and I've experienced this myself in my life, uh, just seeing a lot of the women in my family who just they're singing to the store for a damn uh, Coke, a damn Pepsi, a damn Sprite um, and things of that matter, you know. But really what we need to be drinking is water as a whole, as a people. We should really be drinking more water than anything. And then the elder actually touched on, um, it was Elder Apostle Raka. He touched on how uh, a lot of people don't realize how important water is, but in a day where it's a, it's a famine and it's a lack of water, then they're going to uh, understand, man. And me personally, uh, for the past four or five years, I haven't drunk any soda. I haven't drunk any pop. You know, I haven't drunk pop at all. And I barely drink juice. If I, if I drink any juice, it would probably be some 100% juice, but I barely even drink that, right? When I get thirsty, I drink water, you know? So I wanted to go into this through the spirit. And before we go into it, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukh And I want to give double honors to the elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. And I want to start it off here um, with Sirach 30 and verse 15. It says, health and good state of body are above all gold. You see, so your health and having a, a, a good estate of body is above all gold. It's above all riches, you know, and that's a strong scripture in itself, man. That's why you should really have a care for your, your health and a care for the things that you put inside of your body. You know, and, I, and as, as Israelites, as so-called black Native Americans and Hispanics, we can all be better at that, man. You know, and then reading on, it says in a strong body above infinite wealth and to have a strong body is above infinite wealth. And we heard about that. We used to always hear that in the world. Health is wealth, you know? So having a strong um, body is above infinite wealth. It's above being, having um, innum innumerable riches, man. You know, just being able to still breathe and to walk properly and to be able to just, hey, move around and just ultimately just having a strong body. It's above being, having a, a thousand mansions and a thousand Lamborghinis and things of that matter, man. You know, and I want to jump down to verse 25. It says a cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. So the scriptures say a cheerful and good heart, you know, a cheerful and good mind will have a care for his meat and diet. You'll have a care for the things that you put inside of your body, for the foods and drinks that you consume. You know, and that's that's part of the, 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 the gospel is your health is it's making sure you maintain good health, man. You know, and make sure you care about the things that you're putting into your body, you know. So with that, I want to go into this article. Um, I had an article pulled up here, right? And this title, and this is from Alpha, Alpha A A U V dot com. So lock it. It says Alpha the UV expert, right? But the title of this article is Eleven Health Benefits That You Can Attain When You Replace All Drinks with Water. And like I told you at the beginning of the video, this is something that I did. I replaced I replace all drinks with water. All I drink is water, literally. You know, besides obviously, um. Yan Yan and strong drink. I still drink wine. I still drink strong drink, but obviously only on certain occasions, you know, but just on an average um, day, all I drink and consume is water. So um, I'm going to read these benefits. Um, I'm going to start from the top, right? It says the benefits of drinking water are many from helping you to improve your physical performance to improving your energy levels. And um, relieving common illnesses like constipation, headaches, and more, which is true. Um, I, I, I honestly haven't been sick at all for a long time. Like I probably got a little cold where I cough a little, 
my nose running. But as far as like flus and 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 stomach viruses and things of that matter, I haven't had things like that in, in years. And that's all praises to the Heavenly Father, right? But that's all the Lord put it on my spirit not to drink certain things and not to put certain things into my body, you know? And it says, uh, it says emotional and psychological well-being. One of the other advantages of drinking water is that it helps prevent dehydration. You can read in depth about it in our article on the health benefits of drinking water to prevent prevent dehydration. Um, and I'll post it. I jump jumping it down a little bit, right? Matter of fact, I'm gonna read on Salakia. It says, "Thus, to put it simply, drinking enough water ensures that cells and organs within our body are working and functioning optimally at all times. You have to keep the uh, your cells hydrated, you know." And a lot of times when you drink these pops and these juices, you don't really quench your thirst, man. You just you just wanting that sugar, right? You damn drink the pop. You say you're thirsty, you drink the pop, and then five minutes later you sipping the pop again, man, because you're not actually quenching your thirst. You just you just addicted to that sugar. You know, and it says, in our post today, we will take a look at what happens when we drink water instead of the usual soft drinks and other caffeinated beverages. What are the health benefits that we can attain by switching to plain and pure drinking water and how it can help us maintain good health in the long run? Right. And it says, but before we move forward, here's an in, in graphic, um, infographic on the various health benefits one can obtain by replacing all drinks with water. Take a look. Right. So they have this. Um, and that's what we're going to read. Right. So. Um, the first one says you lose weight at a faster rate, right? So it says drinking water or drinking warm water for weight loss is one of the most recommended methods as a natural, a natural remedy that helps you lose weight. Water has zero calorie, calorie, salakia, sugar or fat, as opposed to drinks like sweetened beverages and alcoholic drinks that are full of calories. Like I said, a lot of it, a lot of what makes people love uh, juices and pops is because of that sugar. You know, and um, me personally, um, when I start drinking water and, and not drinking these sugary beverages, what I've noticed is that um, I don't really have a taste for sweets. I don't, a lot of times I don't really have a taste for sugar. Right? I used to eat a lot of uh, chocolate and things of that matter. But when I stopped just consuming so much sugar, I just lost the I don't like candy anymore. You know, I don't really eat candy anymore. Things just sugary things. I don't really enjoy them anymore. You know, which is actually good for you because when you go into it, sugar is actually kind of like a drug, man. You know? But um, reading on, it says, uh, when you replace the intake of these sugary, fizzy drinks with water, you are hoping boost your metabolism, which in turn ensures that you lose weight at a faster rate. Water is also a natural appetite suppressant, and various health studies have shown that drinking two glasses of water before meals can help dieters lose more weight. It says drinking water to lose weight is a try and tested technique. Plus, since dehydration makes you weak, fat and sick, consuming enough water will help keep this adverse effect at bay. You see. Right. And two, it says you flush out toxins from your from your body and nobody wants toxins in their bodies, man. You know, when you drink water, you're flushing out toxins. Right. But I'm going to read. It says drinking too much soda um, and soft drinks can cause kidney damage. Since kidneys help eliminate toxins and waste from the body, its inability to perform the said function due to high sugar consumption can lead to the um, accumulation of metabolic waste, which can cause a lot of serious health problems. You see? And um, it says water, on the other hand, is a natural lubricant that helps the kidneys to function well. By drinking enough water, your kidneys are able to perform at the maximum helping you flush out toxins from the, the blood and the urine through the bladder, thus helping you keep your body and system clean from the inside out. You see, water cleanses, you know, and not only the kidneys, it cleanses your liver, it, clen it cleanses your gut, you know, water cleanses you from the inside out, man. You see, and it says when you drink pop and all these sugary drinks, what it does is it, it, it does the opposite, you know, it does the opposite of cleansing, I should say. Right. It says it can cause kidney damage. Right. And three, it says you improve your muscles, endurance and flexibility. It says when it comes to when it comes to so when it comes to building and maintaining bones, calcium is one of the most one of the important minerals that is required. Consuming large amounts of carbonated drinks, 
drinks that contain dissolved carbon di dioxide can interfere with calcium absorption, resulting in weak bones and muscles. So when you're drinking these drinks, these pops and these sugary uh, fake juices, right? What they do, they can weaken your muscles and bones. It says thus in order prevent this, it is essential that you severely cut back on soft drinks and energy drinks that contain carbonation and replace these with water, you know? And that's what the Heavenly Father gave us to drink. The Heavenly Father gave us water to drink, you know? So this is all, it's, it's all um, how we, it's what we were meant to drink, man. You know, the Lord didn't give us pop. This is all the, the inventions of the, of the heathen, man, right? This is what the heathen puts in our, um, in our faces, Right. A lot of these uh, elites, they're not sitting around drinking pop, man. You know, they're not sitting around drinking these. Uh, they're not sitting around drinking Kool-Aid. They gave that to us, man. You know. So we can drink the, the filthy faucet water and then mix it with the, with a lot of sugar and then put the damn Kool-Aid in it, man. But they're not drinking that, man. They're not giving that to their kids. You know. It says the importance of water in our body can't be overemphasized. Not many may be aware of the fact that water um, constituents for a large part of our muscle composition. Water helps absorb and retain essential minerals, which in turn helps us maintain healthy and strong bones. And they used to tell us that milk, when you drink a lot of milk, it gives you strong bones. And really, a lot of Israelites are lactose intolerant and milk was doing more harm than it was good for the Israelite man or the Israelite um, woman. You know, but it's really water. It's water that keeps your bones strong. You know, it says as as such, by keeping yourself well hydrated, you are able to not only improve your muscles endurance, but you are also able to improve your flexibility, which will help achieve peak performance in all that you do. Right. Four, it says your ability to focus and concentrate gets sharper. It says apart from affecting your physical health, sugary, fizzy drinks or carbonated drinks can also hurt your mental health. Overconsumption of these beverages can lead to dehydration and can trigger an, an imbalance in certain brain chemicals, resulting in issues like depression, poor memory, brain fatigue, and a lack of mental clarity. You see, so even drinking these carbonated drinks can cause you to be de uh, dehydrated, right? They can cause you to, uh, to, to have so-called depression, right? Bad memory, brain fatigue, right? Lack of mental clarity, you know? But when you drink water, once again, you're cleansing your cells, you're cleansing your inside out, man. You're keeping yourself hydrated. So now you're thinking straighter, you know, your, your memory is better, right? And you're ultimately feeling better emotionally, right? And reading on, it says, by switching over to water, you are able to effectively combat all the ill effects of these beverages. It says, um, also, by ensuring your body is well hydrated, you are making sure that your brain, which is made up of 80% of water, and that's our body as well. Our body is made up of, I believe, 70 or 80% of water. I believe it's 70, but it says our brain is made up of 80% of water, right? So it says you are making sure that your brain, which is made up of 80% of water, is able to access the required amount of oxygen, which is needed in order for it to function at an optimal level. You see? You see how important it is to consume water and to, to um, uh, maintain proper hydration. It says water helps enhance your ability to focus better. It also helps increase concentration and memory power. Additionally, it, it reduces daytime fatigue and aids in prevention, preventing attention uh, deficit disorders in both children and adults alike. Right. And that's why a lot of our um, the Israelites have things like HDHD and all these different things, man, because they had they consume so much sugar, man. So much sugary drinks, candies and all these things are uh, they're, they're bad for you. You know. It says you boost your metabolic rate. Right. Which I believe the. Uh, one of the points earlier went into, so I'm not going to uh, go, go into that one. But ver uh, six, it says you get a glowing and healthier skin complexion, right? And I can attest to that. I get a lot of, uh, um, right, not boasting or anything, but just just because, like I said, I, I, I've been doing this for like four or five years, right? And I get a lot of uh, compliments on my on my skin. You know, I actually uh, always remember this one time I was waiting for a bus and I was, uh, this is when I was in the road. I was smoking the black and mild. And there's this woman who uh, actually she she came up to my job first. She was actually a a, a fair woman. Right. A, 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 a come a beautiful woman. Right. She was a, she was elder. I was probably like uh, 19 or 20 at the time. 
right? She was probably like 43, something around, somewhere around that age. And she came to my job and I assisted her and she, she complimented me on my skin. She basically told me I had beautiful skin, you know? And she asked me, did I, what, what do I do to my skin? And I told her, I don't do anything. You know, I told her, I, I did tell her I drink a lot of water, right? And then I, I seen this woman again. I was standing on a bus stop on my way to work and I was smoking a black and mild. And she, she rolled down her window and said, hey, uh, she said, you need to put that black and mild down. It's going to mess up your beautiful skin, you know? So uh, just just bring it, uh, putting that out there. Just because, like I said, I'm a, a a testimony of what this article is saying because I drink a lot of water, man. I only drink water, right? So it says you get a glowing and healthier skin complexion. It says one of the major benefits of replacing your favorite soft drinks with plain water is bright and radiant skin. It says aerated drinks are known to cause damage to skin cells and collagen bonds resulting in premature aging. It says dullness, dryness, dark spots wrinkles and others so when you drink uh pop and all these different things it, it, it gives you wrinkles and it makes you age faster now you start to look older at a faster rate right so it says thus to nullify the effects of these harmful drinks drinks and to detoxify your body it is advisable that you drink sufficient water on a daily basis this helps to flush out toxins and facilities faster salaki it says it facilitates faster production of blood and muscle cells providing you with the glowing and healthier skin complexion in a very short span of time you see and seven it says you lower the risk of many diseases it is a proven fact that when you eliminate high fat and high sugar foods from your diet it ultimately leads to a healthier life when you cut down on sugary drinks which offers you no essential nutrients vitamins or minerals and replace it with water you are able to improve your overall general health it says water helps improve blood circulation, digestion, and aids in the greater absorption of essential nutrients, thus preventing muscle, muscular cramps, headaches, constipation, kidney stones, and other illnesses. In addition, water also helps reduce the risk of obesity in children and helps decrease the risk of cardiovascular diseases in adults. You see? Right? And it says water promotes the, health, the growth of healthy hair. It says you are able to stimulate your digestive system, which we read and a few other ones. I'm going to actually read this one. It's pretty good as well. It says carbonated drinks primarily consist of dissolved carbon dioxide that can cause indigestion and flatulence. Similarly, soft drinks or soda are mostly acidic and a high consumption of it can lead to a pH imbalance, leading to a host of serious digestive problems like bloating, stomach ulcers, diarrhea, gas and stomach pain. You see? Therefore, to steer clear of these issues and to achieve a healthy and improved digestive system, switching over to drinking water is essential. Adequate intake of water on a day-to-day -day basis will help prevent stomach disorders and will improve bowel movements. Plus, it will improve the, the balance of pH levels in your body and aid in preventing constipation, which also I can personally attest to as well. Because um, I've always had like a bad, I believe I, I always used to feel like I had IBS, which is it's like irritable bowel syndrome or something along those lines but ever since i stopped drinking water i don't really have the, sy the symptoms as bad as i used to you know so these things are true man right water improves blood circulation in 11 it says you are re-energized and it uplifts your mood right and um I saw, I'm, I'm going to read the conclusion as well. It says, as you can see above, the physical, emotional, and mental health benefits of replacing alcoholic beverages, sugary, fizzy drinks, and carbonated drinks with water are innumerable. When you replace all these harmful drinks with water, you are able to improve your general health, skin, hair, and digestive systems. Plus, it helps improve blood circulation, boost metabolism, and aids in weight loss. Right? So it says, therefore, if you want to obtain these benefits of water, then a lifestyle ch a slacky, con. Then a lifestyle change wherein you replace all sugary fizzy drinks with water is important. By doing this, you will notice a visible change in your overall health. It says, lastly, to get the maximum health benefits from water, you need to ensure that you consume pure and safe drinking water devoid of all contaminants. For this, you need to purchase the best water purifier. And as such, here's a comprehensive guide on how to select it right. And this is just... uh. Uh, I'm not going to read the rest of that, but hey, the point is you have to, uh, it'd be wise for you to cut down on drinking carbonated drinks like pop and 
uh, Kool Aids, and that's really much what a lot of these these processed juices are. Just like Kool Aids, they're just water, um, sugar, and and flavor, just like Kool Aid. You know, which are not good for us, man. You just you just drinking a, a cup full of sugar, right? And I'm gonna uh, read this scripture again, in um, Sirach the thirtieth chapter. This is uh, Sirach thirty and verse fifteen. It says, "Health and good estate of body are above all gold, and a strong body above infinite wealth." And I'm going to read verse 20, 25 again as well. It says, And a cheerful heart and Salaki, a cheerful and good heart will have care of his meat and diet. So that's part of the Bible to actually care about your health, man. You know? So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokakadash. The Lord willing, in the future, I can continue to uh, give some health tips. I'm not the most healthiest guy myself, but um, certain things I do and, um, and consume, uh, actually is good for your health so if, if if i can help then i will do more videos on it lord willing but with that i want to say shalom